Hey guys, so I thought I would do a moving vlog today. So it's Monday, we're moving Wednesday and Thursday. So very busy day. The weekend was spent decluttering, oh my gosh. We have decluttered so much stuff in this house just because we don't want to obviously take stuff with us that we don't want to keep. So we have we did all of those videos. If you want to watch the minimize, declutter, organize, like the most epic of declutterers, then you can watch those. I'll leave them in the description bar for you if you like that sort of thing. So today I'm just gonna be doing lots of the little jobs, like Stu's basically phoning around this morning, so I'll talk to you through the things that you need to phone around to update your details with. So everything from like council tax to your home insurance and everything like that. And then we're gonna be starting work on the dismantling the trampoline and taking things out of the shed because the shed is moving with us because it's quite new. So we're gonna take that with us. So we're gonna take everything out and then dismantle it. And then the movers will take the shed panels and then uh, the stuff will have to like sit on the grass for a while. So we have to cover that. So it's a little bit, not quite sure time-wise how, like when they will take the shed. So we need to make sure that's all covered because it's been raining all week. In fact, oh my gosh, I just realized I really hope it's not raining on the day we moved because it's yesterday it was pouring with rain, like literally sheets of rain going sideways. And I was in and out, in and out doing like all the decluttering and taking stuff to the tip and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's not fun when it's like that. But anyway, I won't care. Let's be honest, I won't care, I'll be moving house. So um, yeah, come with us to get ready to do moving day vlogs. Uh, let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see in this kind of little mini series of us moving. I still can't believe it's real, can't believe it's happening, but it is. So let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> so we're about to hit send on sending the monies over to the solicitor. So we're doing this like three days before, four days before completion, just in case there's any holdups. Are ready? Uh, go. go. Oh. Can't believe it. And then we had no money. <laughs> we're so poor. <laughs> then we had no money. <laughs> We've got nothing left. Can you believe it? Then we've got any money, yeah. <laughs> like, it's exchange tick money sent over tick next job is completion on thursday morning get some keys hopefully get the keys get in how long ago was it in this living room that we i shared with you that, that i'd had the call to say they were the buyer had pulled november, through november it was day before my birthday yeah november and now we're February, and even though it was meant to be a really quick chain even that is taking a it's while still, yeah, it's pretty quick in comparison to some but We'll and it was it. late, it was like last day of November yeah. almost. So then it's December, about two and January. And a half yeah, that's not long. It's not long. I'll be in. Just got to put some stuff in boxes now. Yeah, there's a lot of packing. A lot. <sighs> anyway. Ooh, and you've done loads of the phoning around, haven't you, baby? Started. I've still got to do all mine, yeah? yeah? I, need, I need to go and do a walk from the gas and electric. I'm going to do that now. Okay. Does it feel real yet? Yeah, it's starting to, yeah. That is like a top tip. I think I've said this already, but if not, then just make sure that all your money is in the right place for when you want to withdraw it because you don't want to be leaving it until the last day and then realising that there's a cap on your withdrawal limits. So, yeah, make sure you know what that is and that you have the money in the right places so that you can just transfer it in time. We've done it on Monday, we're not moving until Thursday, so we just want to make sure it's all there ready and there's no reason why we would be holding it up. So, um, 15th of February now, I'm just sorting out like a redirection because I don't know if I'm going to catch all of the people that have ever had our address to like tell them if that makes sense. So you might, obviously you know like all of your bills and things like that that come through but there's things that you just can't remember so I'm going to try and see, I think you might have to pay for it. So I'm literally just going onto the Royal Mail website and I'm going to have a little look at seeing how, oh here you go, how much it costs. Hopefully it's not too much, that'll be annoying. Oh gosh, you have to pay for it. Oh no, you have to pay for it for like three months, six months. Let me show you. So three months is £33.99 with an extra fee for Stu for that one. 12 months, £68.99 and £10 extra. So that's quite a lot, isn't it? I feel like it's needed just in case you forget any post. What would you do? Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You 
Look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kind of tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it something different about us it's a bit of a moment happening which i thought i would share with you so my right move app has like always been on the front screen of my phone and i can't tell you the years i've spent looking on there just like looking through so i'm just gonna work out um looking through the properties and saving like just wishing that we could buy one and viewing them and it's just been like quite um well you know an a massive most emotional roller coaster and actually someone said last night they'd be interested to see if my health issues how are helped when we move because we won't be quite so stressed or i won't be stressed so i thought i would take this momentous occasion to delete the app delete so yeah that's all done oh it's like a big moment um I'm sure if you've bought a house, you probably still look on right move some, sometimes, just out of like, I don't know, just nosiness, I guess, or just curiosity. I think, yeah, it's just crazy to think that we don't have to go through this anymore and we're done and we're safe and we're there and, oh, I can't tell you. Oh gosh, it's so muddy. So muddy. So, this is the shed, it's just about to be emptied. Um, haven't seen in here for a while <laughs> but yeah that's all gonna go to the new shed well actually this shed's coming with us so we're just dismantling this now Does like this need to go yeah so that's gonna come down wish us luck I'm gonna build it back up again big okay. boards that they use though Oh, there's poor grass. Okay, the banks were extremely easy, like so much easier than I thought. Basically, you just go into your profile, tap your little avatar, update contact details, done. And two of the banks are managed by the same like overall company anyway, so it updated it on the app of the next bank even before, like by the time I went in there. So that was really easy, so don't be put off about that. So I've done those. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna keep going um, with do my pensions. It's just a series of me on the sofa getting stuff done. I just phoned the blood um, people, so NHS. Um, I've been terrible actually because I used to give blood when I worked in an office because they used to come round to the offices and you'd just go out on your lunch break and do it and it was really easy. Whereas then I had children and then like, I just haven't done it so basically I'm one of, I've just registered again and the, the site's really far away from here which is annoying. But um, yeah, it's just really important if you can give blood to give blood because it can, can save lives. They should make a slogan out of that. But my blood's O negative, I think, so it's quite rare. So um, it can be given to like newborn babies and people that come in with accidents that they don't know what the blood type is. So it is really important, so I'm gonna definitely do it. But I had a real problem, kind of part of the reason I stopped was because I've got really, really low blood pressure and I couldn't actually give blood like the last couple I did, um, apart from the very last one, I, got to the end and they'd taken sorry if you don't like hearing about blood but um they'd taken an, like just an, just about and they didn't get over the pint mark so they had to throw the whole lot away because basically my blood pumped so slowly so the final time I went I like went for a run around the car park beforehand and then it was much better so I yeah several different reasons but I need to get back on it basically so I've done that I registered with them and now I need to work through like my pensions oh my gosh there's so many different things so yeah, I need to do that now. So this is all like storage stuff that we need to put straight into the loft really. All those those will go into the garage and there's just bits and bobs really like, you know, an average Mona Lisa in there. <laughs> so yeah, this is all, this is all come down, you've seen this before, it's all from the loft. And those games will go in the garage. It'd be so nice to be able to access things like that when we need them. So yeah, things like the curtains, obviously they're new, but we won't have anywhere to put them. So I'm not sure really what to do with those. So I don't think we're allowed to leave them, but obviously it'd be nice to be left curtains if, if that are your taste, of course. Um, and then, 
yeah all these sorts of things so the new living rooms are actually randomly the same color as this so that will probably go quite well in the living room but yeah we'll decide when we get there again things like this i don't know if we're going to have a radiator there's no radiators downstairs so whether we'll be able to do that somewhere in the house i'm not sure but we will be taking it with us because obviously it's new and we do love them but just have to try and find a home for it i've, I've got absolutely freezing cold so um i've just put my jumper on which i've basically been living in we can all establish that um it's probably been in every video since um i started filming these catch-up ones anyway so you just want to say hello don't you say hello to your fans say hello so i'm just about to have some lunch now just finished editing a video and i've just been on to the driving license people that was one of the hardest ones um to change i don't know why or i do know why it's very official um, and tesco was the hardest one it was like it basically i don't know if there was a website issue it wouldn't let me update my phone number and the phone number was wrong so it, to update the phone number it needed to text you a code <laughs> to the phone number that, that's wrong so I had to try and get that to be changed and then I finally got that changed and then I could get in and so and then I forgot my password and all these sorts of things um but anyway I've done that so I've, I've got loads done on my list I just talk you through which ones I've done so I've done driving license Tesco I need to check top cashback and quidco to see whether is that your bottom minute Maggie see whether they have um my details i guess i do uh penfold my pension i've got loads of different pensions actually so aviva i need to change over as well because that one didn't come with me when i changed my pension over to penfold uh um my, my, my friends and family um my finico account my uh premium bonds all the banks uh, my curve card that's all changed that was really easy as well and yeah a few more to go but i'm gonna have a break now and have some food i've got this i've got this little number here it's like a little kind of like a bowl bowl from aldi it's a thai chicken curry no a thai vegetable curry so i'm gonna leave it here guys i've got so many more moving vlogs to come there's gonna be packing uh actual moving day getting the keys um unpacking sorting out the new house and yeah i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching let me know if you'd like to see anything else in the comments and i'll see you guys really soon take care bye